welcome back and just share with us <laughs> one thing. <laughs> My week. I'm, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Um, <laughs> and I got to tell you, I... I was texting my good friend, John Heyer, just a little bit ago, and he texted me back and he said, I can either talk right now or in three hours. And I was, I was mid bite of an apple and I literally spit the apple out, hit the talk button and said, carpe, men carpe momento, get the minute. You know? um, both he and I are, both he and I have, um, we've lost a little bit of sleep. <laughs> we put in a lot of hours and, you know, his team and my team have just been digging into this thing. Um, and I'm going to just tell you where we are right now. Awesome. And I want you, I want you to understand the big picture and the small picture. The big picture is there's massive confusion in Washington, D.C. And that is to and our huge you? advantage. <laughs> oh, more than far more than ever, far more than ever. You see, they have a they have a legislative log jam mm. coming up against a hard stop. Wow. Even politicians cannot stop the passage of time. OK. <laughs> oh, my God. And so when the clock strikes strikes midnight tonight. We roll into a new fiscal year, into a new quarter, and the last continuing resolution expires. Mm. So the number one thing that I think will happen today, and this is the only thing that I think could happen today in Washington, D.C., is that there will be a bipartisan continuing resolution pass, both bodies of Congress, signed by the president, and Congress can continue to spend money. Government can continue to operate and spend money. There are three other pieces of potential legislation out there that I don't think any of them are guaranteed to happen. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to talk about the one that matters the most. And it's the big $3.5 trillion elephant in the room. Wow. And it's actually not even able to fit in the room. It's such a huge elephant. It's probably, <laughs> picture it dwarfing the dwarfing the biggest structure you know because i mean when you begin to understand how much is a trillion dollars and then to see that they're doing it three and a half three and a half times that it's it's monumental that bill right now is stuck mm. and we want it stuck because it if it can't pass both house and the senate then our iras remain as they are now, does this mean that we've won? Absolutely not. No way. Kicking the can. It means that we have a chance to catch our breath. It means that my assistant can go see her grandbabies. It means <laughs> that John can catch, get, catch his breath. It means that we can take care of some client stuff. And then we got to come back at it harder than ever. Um, mm -hmm. And here's what we've got to focus on. We've got to continue to reach out to our members of Congress, to our U.S. senators and so on. They need to hear from us repeatedly, mm. repeatedly, because it's that squeaky wheel. It doesn't squeak once that gets the grease. It's that squeaky wheel that keeps squeaking. Or right. let's, let's put it in the context of the real estate investing community, okay? It's that battery back up to the smoke detector that starts chirping at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yep. How many of you, how many of you've been there and heard that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Requires immediate action. And it just keeps chirping. It doesn't matter that it's two o'clock in the morning and that you're exhausted and that you want to just roll over and go back to sleep. It keeps chirping until you get up and deal with it. And that's what we have to do. We have to keep chirping. And here's the exciting news. We don't have to win a lot of hearts and minds. We have to win five in the house. Right, right. We have to peel off five in the house. And right now we've got two in the Senate that are dug in. Senator Joe Manchin, Senator Kristen Sinema, I thank God nightly for them right now. Um, <laughs> they're dug in. And I, Joe Manchin was just on live TV in the last hour going 3.5, no way, no how. It's way too much money. Okay? Awesome. That angers the progressives in the House of Representatives. And I'm sorry, but I'm happy about that. 
I'm happy that they're angry <laughs> because anger is part of confusion and mm -hmm. angry people say things and do mm -hmm. things that they normal, real, real rational people shouldn't. So we're fine.